What's up guys, Robbie here from Tropical Fish Tanks. Just wanted to make a quick video coming to you from the best seat in the house. I'm gonna show you how to plasti dip the background of a tank, um, adding a nice black background, semi-permanent. Uh, best thing about the plasti dip background is that if you decide you don't want it anymore, you don't like it, you can basically just peel it right off, but it sticks on there, it adheres, so you don't have to worry about it moving around, getting messed up when you take your filters off your tanks, things like that. Um, show you how to do it so first things first your supplies pretty easy um, you should have almost all this stuff already at your house most of the time um, you need to go get some plasti dip um, it's like five six bucks at a local hardware store you can get it on amazon pretty cheap um, some painters tape to tape the edges and like a cardboard box uh, paper bag works also to cover up the uh, edges that you don't want the paint to get on that's really all you need um, pretty easy so because this is a spray paint, um, what I have basically done is taken regular painter's tape, uh, taken off the edges here, um, just to make sure that I don't get any plasti dip on the actual frame, so I don't have to peel that off. Not a big deal if you do, you can just peel it kind of off, but I'd rather do it right the first time. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and tape this top part right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this section of the box so I can cover the inside of the tank as well. Show you what that was. Show you real quick, I got the box up in the bottom right here. Got the sides nice and taped up so I'm not getting any of that plasti dip on the frame here. And what I went ahead and did for the sides, just in case, took like a shopping bag, um, cut it, fit perfectly actually right on there. Um, so as you can see, I've got all sides covered. Don't have to worry about getting any of that plasti dip on any of the glass that I don't want to get it on. Um, Use an old cardboard box. Um, what we're gonna do first, clean it real good. Um, you want to take some glass cleaner, make sure to wipe it clean, make sure it's super dry. If you have any dust, dirt, anything like that on the actual glass, you're going to be able to see that through the uh, through the back um, once you add the water on there. So you want to make sure it's nice and wiped off. Let me go ahead and do that show you what to do there. Next up, get to shaking. So shake for one minute, probably do it for a little bit longer just to be safe. All right, I'm all shook up like Elvis. Time to get it on the tank. So I've got the first coat pretty much done. As you can see, kind of got a nice little tint to it there. First coat, you don't want to go super thick. Kind of want to just make sure to get it covered, get it all on there. Um, Cause what's going to happen is it's basically going to get the first coat on there. It's going to adhere to the tank itself. And then every other coat you do after that is pretty much adhering to the plastic dip itself. The first coat, nice and thin, just want to make sure to get it covered. Let it dry for about 10, 15 minutes. Go in, do a second coat. Let it dry, see how it looks, and then you could possibly do a third one if you need to. We'll see how many we have to do here. My assistant has decided to try and get this squirrel that's in the tree that's just kind of standing up there teasing her. She's not very happy about it. He, the squirrel's literally teasing the dog. Alright, so it's been about 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and throw another coat on. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but... You can tell it's kind of drying up a little bit, so we're going to spray it on again. We've got the second coat on there, same process. Wait 10-15 minutes, let it dry, see how it looks. I'll probably wait about 20 minutes this time, so I can see if I need to add another coat, and we'll see how it looks. So this is it. I ended up doing like five to six coats. I um, wanted to make sure it was super dark. Let's go around to the other side, take a look. So as you can see, Nice and black in there. Everything's pretty much covered. Went through about half a can of the Plasti Dip. Pretty solid. Show you what it looks like set up. So here is the finished product. Really, really nice. Um, it's got good coverage on there, as you can see. Um, looks really, really good uh, with the plants on the back there. Uh, probably gonna do these two tanks soon. So as you can see the difference, um, this background is obviously not done. Um, you can see through, see everything on the back. Um, this one also does not have a background right now. Um, this one has that nice black background. Um, over here, just to give you a comparison, this is actually a regular background that you put on. I have not plastic dipped this one yet. Um, got a lot of damage on the back there. Um, so I'm gonna be replacing this one with the plastic dip soon. 